Hey everyone, Brian here with Audio Plugin Deals. Today we're going to check out Chord Jam from Audio Modern. Before we get started checking this one out, make sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel. Hit that little bell notification icon so you know when we go live with videos and great deals just like this. So today we're going to take a quick look at Chord Jam. This is from Audio Modern. Um, it's kind of similar to their previous plugin, Riffer, which we have covered. Now, Chord Jam is going to be a sort of automated chord helper tool. So it can help you um, create progressions and you can load in progressions. And it'll also help you with uh, voicing chords uh, in ways that you may have never thought. So I'm going to show you real quick. We have Chord Jam loaded up. The only MIDI data is input into Chord Jam. As you can see, this is Chord Jam. This is a piano. I'm going to link these together so that the piano is getting its MIDI input data from the Chord Jam track. And then we can just hit play. You can see this simple progression right here. Let me move it out so you can see it um, from behind the camera there. So we have just the simple progression C, um, progression starting with C, and then we're going to go into Chord Jam and I'll show you some of the fun little tools with this. So already you see that we are creating chords from single MIDI notes. Now, if you want to use this just at its very basic, you can just select what type of uh, scale you want, major, minor, all these different kinds of scales. You can also just hit this random button, any of these random buttons, and it will totally change things. So you can hear we get a lot of different velocities, a lot of different kind of voicings, um, kind of ways how one, they're just playing all the notes at the same time, and another, they're kind of slowly uh, sweeping across the keys and playing those notes. Now we can go down here into the sequencer. Remember, at any time, these are just the randomize buttons. Uh, if you want to kind of quickly change things on the fly, just hit the randomize button. Um, and we also have all these different types of scales for you to experiment with by using just those single notes and maybe creating a melody or progression you like um, and you want to slightly change things if you want to write in a different key and a different style very easy to do so just by clicking this and you can also learn a lot about music theory that way so we can go down to the sequencer and now we have a bunch of different sequences we can load up as well. Again, these are nice starting points. Um, and you can also just set this to kind of loop in infinitely and constantly change things if you're playing live. 